when you when you first obtain them, it's they're going to be scared of you, and that's because you're bigger than them. And uh, it's kind of what I say. Um, all bird, you know, any animal, eyes on the front you hunt, eyes on the side you hide. So we are a big predator for them. Falconry started, I, I want to say back in China and Asia, that part of the world. I love watching them fly. And for me, falconry isn't about hunting and catching something every time and killing something. It, to me, it's uh, about being in the same area or space as a basically a wild bird and getting to see and have the opportunity what they would do naturally in the wild and be a part of it. You teach them first off they you have to they have to learn how to trust you. They have to learn that they have a safer area to stay in when they're in your, your care, uh, that you provide them with better food, and you also provide them with better opportunities to hunt. You can provide them better slips, because in the wild, an immature bird is not likely to catch, you know, capture a rabbit. Um, that's kind of a rare, a rare thing, but when she has a falconer with her, she realizes that humans are pretty much their beagles. Um, a lot of non-hunters don't understand why we have birds of prey, why we can utilize them for hunting and um, I inform them it's, it's an ancient sport it's been around for thousands of years I mean they they use birds of prey before they even invented spears you know somebody figured out somewhere along the line that you could use these birds to obtain food and uh, once they figure out that I use her for hunting a lot of people are against keeping a wild bird in captivity so I inform them about how their mortality rate so high their first year and how we're actually helping the bird out and uh, also, you know, she's free to go if she's not tethered to me. She she stays. I mean, she's pretty smart. She knows she gets she gets wild game. She gets food through me. Um, and I just try to, you know, let them know. It's always fun to come out and just watch her fly. Even just watching her fly is fun. And that's also another aspect a lot of people don't see. So, a lot of people come in in the sport and they don't have an idea of how to train a bird to come to them. So there's techniques that they're going to pick up and learn and as they get going over the years it becomes second nature. You automatically almost figure out over time this is what I've got to do to get the bird to respond, this is what I need to do to get the bird to do this. Uh, positive reinforcement, uh, there's no, that they don't understand discipline like a, a dog for instance. So it's, it's all, you ignore the bad behavior and you reward for good. The ability to have a wild bird and to get an inside look on a personal level with them. I can see things that I wouldn't see normally if I was watching a wild red tail. I get to watch her chase wild game. I get to watch that game of life and death and uh, get to be a part of all that personal aspect of her actually killing that animal. and being there with it because you you don't see that in the open you know in the wild it's it's a privilege <laughs>